progress report. It's an older code, Skipper. I can't make it out. Hmm. You, hire mammal. Hmm? Can you read? No. Phil can read, though. Phil? The first thing we hear in this clip is the ship's horn. This is a good use of diegetic sound and straight away it shows us the animals are on the ship. The sound is designed in a way where it is needed along with the video. Both of them are lying on each other for the clip to work effectively. We hear the sounds of cans as the monkey Phil gets up. This is a great use of Foley sound. Kenya, wildlife preserve Africa. Africa? That ain't gonna fly. Rico! Here we see the monkey use sign language, again meaning the sound is designed around the video. When the penguin is about to unlock the crate, we hear action music added, which suggests the penguins are on a small mission. We hear the penguins cough up the paper clip and unlock the crate. We again hear Foley as the padlock unlocks. There is non digest sound of music, however everything else in the scene is diegetic. This clip starts with a man whistling in his footsteps. This is Foley sound as it comes from the character. Next we hear a slapping sound effect as the man gets dragged off the screen. This is an amazing use of sound design as we can't actually see him get attacked by the penguins. However the sound of the slap, his gun and him being dragged off screen. This is proved as the penguins appear alongside action music again, suggesting they're on to the next part of their mission. This music definitely has comedic value too, which I'm sure is the intent of the sound design. The action music continues and we hear the swift noise as the penguins move forward, meaning the diegetic and non-diegetic sound is combined. Next we hear the foley of the door open in the captain's lobby of the ship. As this opens, the music switches from non-diegetic to diegetic, as we hear the music come from the man's headphones. We hear the penguins huddle towards him and jump on the chair and smack him. We hear him grunt and drop his mug as it smashes. This suggests that it was painful. Greatest city on earth, Guys, a listen. king, okay, loved look, by my people, let's just be and simple. you ruined everything. Loved? Guys, if guys, the people loved you, quit it's it only there. because they didn't know the real you. Don't make me come up there. I'd get the whooping on both of y'all. Well, I thought I knew the real you. Let's, let's, wait, let's let's you're black and white stripes? Right. They cancel let's each other out. Stop it! 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 Next we hear Alex and Marty arguing in their crates. We hear the crates move as Alex gets angry. Gloria is in the background trying to resolve the situation. We hear Melman start to panic and the band surrounding the crates snaps due to all of the movement inside of them. The progressive overlay of the voices is great sound dialogue as it's building up all suspense as they get louder and talk over each other. It suggests danger. We see this escalate until the band eventually snaps. Status. It's so good, Skipper. I don't know the codes. Don't give me excuses. Give me results. Navigation. All right. Let me think. And shut him up. I did it. Let's get this tin can turned around. Next we hear the penguins back inside the ship, the action music is still playing as their mission continues. The music is in full effect now however to match all the drama going on in the screen. We hear Foley of the keyboard as the penguin is standing over it typing random things in the computer, indicating he has no idea what he's doing, adding comedic value once again. The music heightens as all the drama on the screen unfolds. We hear the penguin slap the cabin driver which adds great comedic effect. The penguin asks for the ship to be turned around and we hear alarms going off as the chaos is happening. The alarms signify danger and chaos is occurring as the ship is turned around. We hear the ripple of the ocean reminding us where the ship turns around. We 
then hear all the crates moving and falling off the ship. The animals scream as the crates hit the water. This is an amazing use of sound effects and diegetic sound. As the crates are submerged in the water, we can hear the danger. The animals are now in. Alex is panicking as he sees the animals in the distance. He shouts their names. We hear reverb is added. As Marty gets further and further away, the more reverb is added to his voice. This is an amazing use of sound to suggest he's getting further away. Music is added as we see the camera zoom out from Alex in the water, ending the clip.